Hello everybody. This is just a quick video to show you how to set up one of these uh, one of these first editions of the eTag RFID reader. So um, I've got everything set up here with uh, the USB cable connected to my computer, um, a couple of RFID antennas connected to the reader, and then there's an RFID tag sitting over there. And that's just a battery pack that will um, that I'll use in a minute. So. Um, it's all set up, uh, and uh, there is the uh, Arduino app open on my computer. If you want to change uh, any of the code in that app, you can do so. Um, that's why we that's why we use this uh, this format. Uh, once you get the code set up the way you uh, the way you like, you can upload that code by simply turning on the RFID reader when it's connected, or turning it to USB power mode, and then uh, you can upload the code by selecting the upload button in the top left corner there. So uh, it's now compiling all that code and, and uh, uploading it to the RFID reader and it will say thank you when it's done. Um, then to set the clock, which is the first thing you need to do, you need to open the serial monitor and, um, and it's supposed to ask you if you want to set the clock or not. It didn't because um, we were a little too slow some of these things are timing based, so um, if that happens, you can just close that uh, close that uh, serial communication window, turn the turn the um, RFID reader, RFID reader back off, turn it on again, and then uh, a little more quickly choose the serial monitor, and it will ask you to set the clock. Um, I'm going to give it a capital Y for yes, and then I can enter the date. So I'll enter July 07, 31, uh, 17 for the year. And then I'm looking at the clock on my computer. It says it's 9.43. So 09.43 and 58 seconds. And then I hit return and it sends all that to the RFID reader and the clock is now set. And it also says restart reader to log data. So I will turn the reader back off close this serial window, turn it back on, open the monitor, serial monitor again, and it asks me if I want to set the clock. This time I'll send it a no. And now it says it's scanning for tags, and I can test that by holding one of the tags over the, over the antenna. And it read the tag, it gives me the tag ID and the date and time. Notice that it's alternating between two, uh, two antenna circuits, in circuit one and circuit two. You can turn either of those uh, either of those circuits off. Here I am scanning the tags over here again and it's showing up on the screen. You can turn those tags or those uh, one of those circuits off if you want. You can turn the, the circuit two off if you don't want it in the in this Arduino software. So anyway, it's uh, it's logging uh, logging data now, and um, we can actually turn this turn the RFID reader all the way off again, and um, even unplug it from the computer if we want. And um, it should retain the time. There's a little battery on the back of the on the back of the device, so it should retain uh, retain the date and time. So we can turn this back on, reopen that uh, that serial monitor window again, and um, we can tell we don't want to set the clock. And it should start reading tags and give us the accurate time, which it does. Um, you can also then completely uh, disconnect. The RFID reader, which I have to use my little camera holder here, so I completely disconnect the RFID reader if we want from the from the computer. We can then use an external battery. Notice that I'm plugging the positive terminal of the battery into the into the slot that's marked positive. You have to look closely to see those markings, but they're there. And the negative terminal, and this battery actually has an off switch, so I'll turn this battery on. And then I'll switch it over to battery mode, which actually it already is. And um, we should see the LED flashing on the, on the RFID reader whenever we read a tag. Um, but it's going to take about uh, 10 seconds for it, to, um, for it to initialize and be ready to read. So we can check to see if it's reading now. There's, I'm getting a little bit of activity on that uh, on the um, LED. So. I know that it's reading tags. I don't know if you can see that LED on the camera. It's just above the, just above the uh, on-off switch right there. 
So now it's reading tags from a, a what can I do to a battery and logging that data to the SD card. All right, good luck with it.